I bet there's a ton of real estate terms that you would love to know exactly what they mean. Today, you will learn some of the most important real estate terms you need to know, whether you are a buyer, a seasoned investor, or selling your home, or just interested in the world of real estate. Understanding these key terms is crucial in this comprehensive glossary. We'll take you through the alphabet, providing you with a wide range of terms related to buying, selling, and investing in real estate. So let's dive in. Appraisal is an assessment of a property's value conducted by a licensed appraiser. It determines the fair value, fair market value of your property based on factors such as the area, comparable sales in the neighborhood, and it is a document that is required by your mortgage professional before they approve your mortgage. They want to make sure that the house is actually worth the same money or more than what you're paying for. Amortization refers to the gradual reduction of a loan balance over time through regular payments, typically in the form of monthly installments. A buyer's agent is a real estate agent who represents the interests of the buyer in a transaction, helping them find suitable properties, negotiate offers, and navigate the whole buying process. With a bi-weekly mortgage payment, it means that you will pay your mortgage in two monthly installments instead of one. With a bi-weekly mortgage, you'll make 26 payments per year instead of 12. The end result is that you'll pay the equivalent of 13 monthly payments each year, lowering your interest rate and your principal balance at a much faster pace. It's how we pay our mortgage and it really works if you want to pay off your mortgage quickly. Try it. Closing is the final stage of the real estate transaction process. The date is agreed upon when the buyer and seller go on the contract and on this day the property is legally transferred from the seller to the buyer. Closing costs are usually between 2 and 5% of the purchase price and is an expense incurred by both buyers and sellers during the transfer of ownership of the property. It could include the loan fees, appraisal fees, inspection fees, taxes, and is paid during the process known as closing. A comparative market analysis, CMA, is an analysis of the overall real estate market and the condition and location of a property in order to determine the most appropriate price range the property would sell for. A down payment is the initial upfront payment made by the buyer toward the purchase price of a property. It is expressed as a percentage of the total price and it affects the loan amount and mortgage terms of the buyer's mortgage. The debt to income ratio is the percentage of gross monthly income that goes towards paying for your monthly housing expense. Alimony, child support, car payments, and other installment debts and payments on revolving or open-ended accounts, you know, such as credit cards. It is used by the lender to evaluate how much house you can actually afford. A deed is the legal document that transfers ownership of the property from the seller to the buyer. Keep it in a safe place. It is a very important document. Equity is the value of a property minus any outstanding mortgage balance. As the property value appreciates and the mortgage balance is paid down, the equity increases. If you owe $450,000 on your house, but it is worth $600,000, you have $150,000 equity built in. Escrow is the holding of money or documents by a neutral third party before the actual closing. It can also be an account by the lender or mortgage servicer into which a homeowner pays money that is held for monthly taxes and insurance. Foreclosure is a legal process in which a lender retakes possession of the property due to the homeowner's failure to make mortgage payments or is otherwise a default. For instance, like if you owe taxes, they could also cause you to go into foreclosure. The forbearance is where your lender may offer a temporary reduction or suspension of your mortgage payments while you get back on your feet 
forbearance is often combined with a reinstatement or a repayment plan to pay off the missed or reduced payments of your mortgage. Gross income for a property is the total income generated by the property before expenses such as vacancies, maintenance, and property management fees are deducted. Your gross monthly income is the income you earn in a month before taxes and other deductions. It may also include rental income, self-employed income, income from al alimony and child support payments, and other retirement benefits. Those all together make up your monthly income. If you are finding this information valuable, go ahead and hit the like button and do your good deed for the day by subscribing to the Brooklyn Homes and Lifestyle channel. Let me know in the comments section what type of videos you would like me to cover in the future. Home inspection is an evaluation of a property's physical condition conducted by a licensed home inspector. It will be required before you can close on your home. Home insurance is a policy that protects you and the lender from fire, physical damage, and also liabilities such as a visit to your home, uh, falling or damage to your personal property. That's another thing you'll require before you close on your home. Interest is the cost you pay to borrow money. It is the payment you make to a lender for the money it has loaned to you. And the interest is usually um, expressed as a percentage of the amount borrowed. Your listing agreement is between the property seller and the real estate agent slash brokerage. It outlines the terms and conditions of the property sale. Loan estimate is a written statement from the lender itemizing the approximate cost and fees for the mortgage and the lender is required to provide that to you within three days of receiving a loan application from you. The loan origination fees are the fees that the mortgage company will charge you for processing your mortgage application. This is usually in the form of points and uh, one point is usually 1% of the mortgage amount. The mortgage is the loan used to finance the purchase of a property, typically secured by the property itself. The mortgage usually indicates the amount of money you borrow together with the total interest you will pay over time to purchase your home. The mortgage broker is an independent finance professional who specializes in bringing together borrowers and lenders to complete their mortgage application. They are usually more resourceful than just a regular bank because they, um, they're not committed to one bank and they can shop around with different mortgage companies and lenders to get you the best terms for your mortgage. An offer is the formal bid from the home buyer to the home seller to purchase their home. Pre-approvals are very important in today's real estate market and gives the lender an assessment of a borrower's credit worthiness based on their credit history, income, and debt to income ratio. It also shows a home seller that you're a serious buyer. Property taxes are the taxes assessed by local governments based on the value of their property. They're typically paid by the property owner. Principal is the amount of more money borrowed to buy your property or the actual loan amount that has yet to be repaid to the loaner. Private mortgage insurance or PMI is an additional insurance needed for mortgages with low down payments typically those that pay down less than 20%. Though it is an additional fee on top of the regular monthly mortgage payment, the equity growth in the prices of your property over time, especially here in Brooklyn and New York City, more than compensates instead of waiting until you had saved up a 20% down payment. It's just worth it to pay the PMI every month. Seller's Disclosure Statement is a legal document in which the seller discloses any known defects or issues with the property to potential buyers. Seller's Market, that's a market condition where there are more buyers than available properties, leading to increased comp competition and potentially higher prices. We've seen a lot of that recently. Staging is preparing and decorating your property to showcase its best features so it will appeal more to the potential buyers. A title is the legal document that establishes legal ownership of the property and it is typically held in the form of a deed. Title insurance is required to be purchased and paid for during the closing process 
mortgage as it protects both the lender and you, the homeowner, against any legal problems with questions of ownership and title in the future. Underwriting is a process where a lender uses to determine loan approval. It involves evaluating the property and the borrower's credit and ability to pay the mortgage. On the contract is a period of time during which a property is in the process of being sold, but the sale has not yet been completed. Zoning is the regulation of land used by local government which typically determines what type of buildings and activities are allowed in specific areas. Phew, that was a lot of definitions. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section what type of videos you would like me to cover in the future. And show me some love by subscribing to the channel and hitting that like button. Till the next time.